Hello, everybody. Just wanted to give a quick update on the Terraform course I created about four years ago in 2020. It is 2024 now. I just wanted to update that that course is still completely valid. There is everything in those videos is completely valid. Luckily, the syntax and the API that Terraform has created has barely changed since I've created those videos. Um, there is one thing that is that's changed, which is the providers, which is which is very easy, you know, to to, to figure out. There is just one thing that changed, which is the providers and how you declare them. Uh, we'll go over that in just a sec, but I just want to touch base and, you know, say the, the course is completely valid still. If you're, if you're a newcomer and you're just looking at that course and see it's a few years old, um, it's a few years old, but it's, everything's completely valid. Um, people are still watching it to this day. Um, I was actually kind of amazed at how many people have watched that course and said it's helped them get jobs and get them certi certifications and, you know, was able to get their career using Terraform going with using that. So feel free to go and use those, um, but let's just show you what um, what has changed. All right, so we're on the uh, the docs for Terraform. I mainly used this Terraform course with AWS, so we're gonna, just gonna go over that. Um, I did the course on Terraform version 0 0.02 at the, at the moment, or when I originally did the course, it was on 0.12. So you can see the, the syntax for the provider was, was like this. And now you just need to do this. So that is literally the only change and only difference that the videos don't take into account right now, which is something so basic. Um, so all you have to do is just do the providers in this syntax. Now with Terraform 0.13 and later, um, and this is the old one old syntax. Um, you can read up more on the docs on how, how to actually do that, but it's, it's, it's pretty simple depending on what provider you use. But if you're using AWS, this, this will work. Um, I've also updated all the, the course examples in GitHub that has everything with the new syntax. So you should be able to take all these course examples or all the examples in the GitHub repo and then run them. And then they should just, just work. Um, so yeah. So if you have any questions on any of this, um, let me know if you have any other Terraform videos you want me to create. Let me know what you guys would be interested in. And if, if you haven't already, um, make sure to like and subscribe to, to the channel.